Okay, I want to welcome you to tonight's class. And what we're going to talk about tonight is einkorn. It's a product that I think is a hidden treasure within the Young Living line of products. And a lot of people really, when you say einkorn, they look at you, they don't really understand what einkorn is. But what I would like you to do is to close your eyes. Now imagine the aroma of freshly baked bread coming out of the oven. Then picture yourself cutting a soft, warm slice of bread. Maybe add some butter or jam, or just eat it plain, savoring that wholesome taste. Wondering, if you miss it, because unfortunately, there are so many people that are now sensitive or even allergic to gluten that is found in the modern flour. They don't get that opportunity anymore to enjoy that fresh bread and mostly, not only the bread, but also other baked goods. So the truth is that Flowers should not make you sick, and it should be, it's something nature naturally provides for us. So I'm going to go off on a tangent here, and most of you know I do grind my own wheat. I use non-GMO wheat. I don't use einkorn, but I do use a combination of two different types of grain. The reason I grind my own wheat is basically what I just talked about. It has less gluten in it. There are no preservatives in it. The flour you are buying in the store has been not only number one stripped of all the nutrients that is in the wheat, but they, they put in other products for preserving it so it's got a shelf life. The wheat that I grind, it's the entire wheat shaft that gets ground into the wheat. And there is no shelf life to it. So if I grind too much, I put it in the freezer, but I, I know my ratio. So very, very seldom do I grind more wheat than what I need. So I wanted to go up on that tangent because I think this is a really important subject. Flour in today's grocery stores, y'all, it's horrendous. It's just plain old not good for you, and that's why we have so many gluten issues. So eating wheat is, is a, oh, I don't know, about 10,000 year old met tradition. It's always, um, it, it's just sad that over the years, the whole grain, it's been so altered and modified, so much so that it's making many of us super sick. So what's happened to our wheat? Well, it started with the industrial machinery that could process the wheat faster and more efficiently than the old stone methods. This machinery allows for the separation of the parts of the wheat, giving a soft white flour. Unfortunately, as you know, this white flour is also devoid of nutrition because all the nutrition, nutrients are found in the whole kernel. Hence, is, which is why I grind my own wheat. The next problem came in, 19, in the 1950s when farmers learned to crossbreed wheat for higher yields. And it also resisted pests. So since then, wheat has been altered so many times that it is completely different than the whole grain wheat that it once was. Modern wheat has been crossed with two different goat grasses and contains a G genome. This is what makes dough sticky, stretchy, and chewy. Unfortunately, it also brings in a new set of proteins that are basically unrecognizable by the human body. And even the proteins themselves have been altered. 
This is why so many people are sensitive to today's wheat products. Einkorn is a German word that means single grain. It is also known as the original staff of light grain and is possibly the oldest variety of wheat. This means it is a good old fashioned wheat before it becomes industrialized and stripped of all of its nutrients. It contains the A genome and 14 chromosomes, so it is far less allergic than the modern wheat. It is also rich in amino acids and has a two to one ratio of soluble and insoluble protein. There's also two types of vitamin E. Um, it's got, there's more crude fat, there's protein, there's phosphorus, there's vitamin A, there's beta catechine, there's riboflavin, there's the potassium that the modern wheat does not have. Plus, it's easier for your body to digest and the nutrients are a whole lot more easily absorbed by our bodies. It does contain a super low amount of gluten, but because it has the proper ratio of the other proteins, many people who are sensitive to gluten find that they can tolerate the einkorn products. Einkorn flour, that can be replaced and the, the can rather replace the processed flour in all of your cooking and your baking. You can use it just as you would any other regular flour and in any of your cooking recipes. When you first start using the einkorn flour though, it does take a bit of getting used to since it contains it doesn't rather contain the D genome that makes flour so stretchy. Your flour is a whole lot more dense and it absorbs water more slowly than the modern flour. So you need to expect your dough to be just a tad bit more stickier. For people who enjoy grinding their own flour, as I do, the einkorn berries offers a, the whole kernel and it consists of the bran, germ, and the endosperm. It's an economic option for families who make their own breads or they're making a lot of baked goods. Einkorn berries are also great for adding a bit of a crunch to all kinds of recipes. Try them atop your salads, smoothies, or mixed in with your granola. What I do is I make it, I make the berries, the einkorn berries, like rice. So it's like two cups of water, no, that'd be two, that'd be a lot of wheat. Um, maybe one cup of water and a half a cup of the einkorn. I bring my water to a boil, remove it, put the einkorn in it, cover it, and let it steam to soften it up. Y'all, it's really good in a salad. And like they say, it's really good um, in your smoothies or on your granola. It's just really good. Even in soups, it's really, really good. You can also use the einkorn berries to make this simple I call it oatmeal, but it got to call it porridge because it's not oats, right? <laughs> so you can make this very simple porridge. Y'all, the einkorn berries, if you have not tried them, I highly recommend them. And they last a long time. As long as you keep them in, I keep them in another container in a cool place. They'll last a long, long time. One of my favorite products also is the pancake and waffle mix. I saw it today. It actually went out of stock today, <laughs> but it'll be back in without, I don't think too much longer from now, but it's a, a lightly sweet mix because of the, the, and the protein rather, and the fiber in it. It's, it's just, it adds in addition to the, the serving of the pancakes or the waffles itself. And I love that it also comes in a gluten-free variety for those who are super sensitive to the gluten. Again, the Ningxia berry syrup or that the Yacon syrup, guys, if you have not tried either one of those, you're in for a treat, you really have to try it. My favorite is the Ningxia berry syrup. The granola, man, that is a good product. It's the most, um, it's, 
most of the granola products, that was hard to get out. <laughs> most of the granola products that are on the market, they contain so much sugar, plus they're loaded with preservatives. The Einkorn granola, however, it's really good and it's such a much healthier choice. It's lightly sweetened with berries, the cacao nibs, the dark chocolate, and the coconut sugar. Einkorn granola is a wholesome snack, or you can use it as a breakfast, breakfast option. Their granola cluster, clusters contain a combination of simple and complex carbs, including the nuts, the berries, and the seeds for energy. This is a great product to add into your granola or your granola, <laughs> add your granola into your yogurt is what I'm trying to say. It also contains no high fruct fructose corn syrup. There's no GMOs or artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. It is so simple to put a bag of this wholesome granola into the kids' lunch boxes or carry in your purse for a quick pick-me-up snack. The Rotoni and the spaghetti, these are really great. I was really hesitant to try them, but man, it's really good. The pastas, pasta dishes made with either the spaghetti or the Rotoni, it's really good. And again, these are made from the einkorn flour. It cooks really very similar to the whole wheat pasta. So that means it's a little bit firmer than what your white pasta is. And it has kind of like a little bit of a, a nutty taste to it, but with the marinara sauce and gosh, putting it in soups, y'all, it's really good. I've learned that even non-cereal eaters love the einkorn flake cereal. It's not sweet. It's, it's got like a, the right amount of crunch I compare it to what most people would know, like cornflakes or Wheaties. It's, it's somewhat similar to that, but it's a whole lot more healthier for you. Um, just got very, very few simple ingredients in it. The einkorn flour, the coconut sugar, the oat bran, a touch of salt, and vitamin E. This brings it all together and it makes this healthy and tasty cereal just really a great one for breakfast or for snacking. Here's the Wolfberry Crisp Bars. I know we talked about these a few weeks ago, but these provide that tasty, it's kind of like a child-friendly snack option. It's free of preservatives and empty calories. But these bars aren't just for the kids, it's, they're delicious. They got nuts and grains and seeds, seeds oats, coconut, and berries. And they're all wrapped in that wonderful dark chocolate. So with a healthy serving of protein, complex carbohydrates and fiber, it's a snack that you can truly feel good about giving to your family. So that's the Einkorn products in the Young Living's line. I highly recommend you try the berries. If you have not tried the berries, I highly recommend you give it a try. It might help you get outside a little bit of the box for cooking. But our next class is next Monday night. Again, our Monday night class, and then we'll have our Thursday night class. And what is that date? Thursday, um, the 17th of September, we're gonna do Oils of the Ancient Scripture. I would love to see everybody attend that. That's going to be a really good class. So join us next week, Monday and Thursday evening. Again, if you are not a member of Young Living and you're interested in products, please get with the person that invited you to watch this video. If not, reach out to me and let's get you started on a much healthier lifestyle journey.